So we, we're still here with uh, Julia uh, of OLPC and uh, we're going to un unbox the XO4. Unbox the XO4, an experience that many people would like to have. <laughs> So the XO4 is being released? The XO4 has been released in CES. It's a touch screen device. That it's a new generation of laptops from one laptop per child. So we release two devices, the XO4 and the XO4 Touch. The difference with the previous one is that those devices are building the new Marvell dual core CPU. It is a much faster processor. And they have, in this case, as this one, it has a touch screen component uh, from Neonode. Neonode providing the, uh, the infrared technology. So, the overall the design is the same? The overall the design is the same. You might know that there is a little bit difference with the screen. Because of the touch screen, the component you have uh, this bezel around. It's slightly larger bezel? But there yes. was already one like this before, similar, no? But it's slightly uh, bigger? This one is slightly larger. And yeah. uh, we have, instead of the three USB plug, we remove one and we change it with an HDMI port. All right. So what's the price difference or what is the availability difference? Basically, all the new Exos is going to be like this? All the new Exos are going to be like this, basically with the new Marvell Dual Core CPU and uh, with, the, with the HDMI port uh, and you can choose between the model with the touch screen or without the touch screen. What is the difference uh, in price maybe between touch and that? Uh, the, the difference is around $20. $20. This goes out for $206 FOB China for order of a certain volume and we consider it 10000 or more. So basically touch now, you can, which one should we touch on? We can touch anything. It has the usual uh, um, sugar interface that got ported into a touch, um, into a touch one. We have uh, all the different uh, sugar apps that are now working. Uh. So, um, what is the status uh, for all PC deployments? What's going on? So we have 2.8 million laptops in 60 countries around the world. Um, as uh, starting of 2013, we unveiled in Vegas those three products, uh, the XO tablet uh, with XO Learning UI, the XO4 and the XO4 Touch. So we are going towards, uh, we are gonna sell on retailer the tablet uh, in Walmart store, and the laptop is gonna be uh, at the usual uh, on PC methodology sales through government, uh, governmental projects. But the tablets are Android, and here is not yet Android by default? No, this is still a Linux Fedora operating system. It could be Android? We have a plan of porting into Android, and I would say by the end of next year. By the end of next year, they might be... Sorry, by the end of 2013. By the end of 2013, yes. it might be uh, it might default be to default. distribute, to suggest that governments use Android. The Android. Yes, we have received lots of confirmation from governments that are used to be... Um, to run all PC projects in large scale to actually move towards the Android platform all right. for simplicity and uh, for the, the amount of content that you can actually yeah. find uh, online uh, available. There's like huge amounts uh, of all these apps and all that, but that could maybe also work in here? Well, the what one thing that we change uh, in the overall oil PC, in the overall oil PC ecosystem was since 2012, but we focus a lot in uh, expanding uh, the partners network and expanding the content available for the countries. So we partner up with Sesame Street, uh, we partner up with Little Pin for Languages, with Common Sense Media, um, uh, with um, Nickelodeon. Uh, we had uh, several book, book publishers. The idea is to give uh, a more substantial curriculum and more content available. In certain cases, it's going to be proprietary for the device. So the more we can provide to countries in their own languages and based uh, on uh, their own needs, uh, the better it is uh, for the children uh, all over the world. 2012 was very important because we signed an agreement with UNESCO and United Nations World Food Programme. 
and one specific item of, the, uh, of our cooperation, specifically on the UNESCO side, is to provide uh, content based on the different countries, on culture, on uh, uh, environmental sustainability, cultural heritage. All right, so, and, and the, the Ampard uh, OXO lasts longer, now even longer with the dual core? Yes. The, 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 the battery, battery life is? The battery is, the battery is around nine hours. Sir. And the keyboard is the new keyboard that was run, was built also on the 1.75 that is still a membrane uh, child safety keyboard, but it's much difficult now to rip it off the keys. All right, because that was maybe one of the things that... That didn't that, work, that was not yeah. so successful with the previous devices, yes. That was uh, the, the easiest to break, was maybe there. In certain cases, uh, it was easy to rip the keyboards off, the yeah. keys off. Though it was one of the few keyboards that is certified by UL as child safety device, as a child safety. All right. So, looking forward to see uh, at least uh, twice as many laptops uh, deployed in the next few weeks, or no, this maybe is later. What we believe. This is what yeah. we hope, and Australia is going to be the first country who's going to get the EXO Touch. How soon? Uh, in the next few months, Australia is going to roll out 55,000. Peut-être en apprendre à se connaître, je me révèle petit à petit. Et parfois ce n'est pas à mon, à mon avantage, certes. Mais j'aime trop dans un sens sortir ou avoir ma propre vie, ma propre indépendance.